All right, it's time to test out the 9.7 inch iPad Pro here. I've got the Wi-Fi 128 gigabyte model. Now I also have an iPad 12.9 uh, inch device, but as you can see, it's so huge. I can't even really get it on camera at the moment, but it's quite a, mu it's, it's a much larger device. And um, for me, it's almost the perfect drawing experience. So the question is, when I go out and about, will this uh, 9.7 inch iPad Pro, will it be good enough? Will it be large enough? I already can feel that um, I have to rest my hand kind of on the side of the iPad here when I'm drawing over here. Um, I don't have as much room air space, you know, surface area to rest my hands while I'm drawing. But of course, it is very, very similar to the drawing experience that you know and love from the, uh, you know, iPad Pro 12.9 uh, inch edition. So this is just playing with the pens, playing with the pencil. Obviously, you can still do all the same stuff that you could before with the shading. I can uh, shade nice and dark or, you know, as I shade a little bit closer to the tip, I can have less shading or more shading, wider shading like this. Um, I'm getting the feeling that the setting is different for the iPad Pro 9.7. I'm, I'm, I'm noticing that I'm not getting as much shading uh, as I used to on the iPad 12.9. On the 12.9, tilting it all the way down would actually create a much wider uh, shading. So this is definitely a little bit different on this 9.7 edition of the um, iPad Pro. But the actual line quality, as you can see, is identical to the 12.9 inch device. I'm really interested in this in the shading being a little bit different, but uh, I will check that out uh, in the future. So the big question for me is, is iPad Pro 9.7, is it gonna be good enough for manga? And what I mean by that is, you know, is it really good enough for you to draw pictures on it? And as you can see, if I draw, if I drew this, I could probably get an entire bust, uh, a, a bust shot done of a character. But um, with this iPad Pro 9.7, Seven, we're looking at probably just the head and neck, probably not a lot more than that. So I'm just going to continue uh, drawing a very, very quick, very, very quick uh, sketch just to demonstrate very, very quickly, um, you know, how much, how difficult it is or how not difficult it is to uh, draw something like this. Now I've got the neck coming in at a little bit of a funny angle, but um, I'm noticing that the drawing experience is, is really identical to what I experienced with the the 12.9. Now, obviously, I, I don't know if this is actually true, but I, I seem to think that the, the screen kind of has a bit more drag to it, where the iPad Air has less of a drag to it. I noticed that the iPad Pro devices, both of them, have more drag, and so I can't really um, s slide my hand around. I thought just for this first drawing, I would do it without without um, using a glove. Usually I use a glove um, on this device so that my hand can glide around a little more easily. But for the purposes of demonstration, I thought it might be nicer to just, you know, leave it the way it is. Just have a nice, simple mouth here. Um, and just a, put a bit of a lip there. And so, where are we going to put the eyes and also have an ear coming out here as well? Now, I, I have to say, this is a wonderful, wonderful <laughs> drawing experience. And I've already kind of forgotten that I'm not on the larger device, but that's because I'm not drawing a full body shot. Um, I tried, uh, you know, before this device arrived, I did try um, to see whether, you know, I kind of tested on my larger device. I was like, if I only use a small part of the screen, will I still be able to draw? And I, I felt, you know, that really I was a little bit more limited to the types of things I could draw. Um, trying to draw a full a full body shot on, on this smaller screen is probably going to be a little bit tricky, but um, f let's just start simple. Let's go with a, a, a face. Something that's a little difficult right now is I would normally lean into my iPad and draw a bit closer, uh, instead of zooming in, I prefer not to zoom in so that I can keep my eye on pr proportions. But at the moment I'm recording, and so uh, <laughs> the camera is kind of in the way of my, my head. I can't actually get in there. So let's see, let's just give them a nice vacant expression. Nothing too serious. Why so serious? 
Um, if you have been watching the news about iPad Pro, you'll you'll know about all the specs. I'm really excited about the fact that this iPad Pro is using um, the same camera as the uh, iPad iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6s. Uh, in addition to that, oh, hang on. Oh, so here's a new feature as well. You can actually move between notes by using two fingers. That is a little bit disorienting for me <laughs> because sometimes, again, when I'm resting my hand on, on here, it thinks that these two knuckles are two fingers and uh, that can be a little bit of a, a drag, as it were. Um, I don't like that feature so much, but it, you know, it is convenient when you're using it more for notes and you're not really using it so much for, for drawing. Now let's see, I just have some very simple hair, nothing too complicated. Um, I think I may have made a few mistakes already. Uh, <laughs> well, I say mistakes, this can't really be a mistake if you haven't, if you haven't uh, really decided what you're going to draw. But... I I really like this. Now I'm noticing that in general I'm I'm going with a slightly more leave the hand in one place uh, style, whereas usually I would have my whole hand drifting up and down the page. And the reason that I, I'm finding that a little harder to do right now is that if I have my hand drifting up and down the page, first of all I can't because the screen is a bit sticky. But in addition, I, I'm finding it difficult because um, there's not much screen and I'm going from on the screen to being off the screen. So I'm just leaving my hand in one place and let's see if we can give them a little more, a little more hair down here. Uh, it's a really, really great drawing experience. I would say if you're if you're still on the fence about whether you should go with the large one or the the or the smaller one, um, I think you might be tempted to think that the smaller one is the one to go for because it's just come out, uh, and also just because it's cheaper. But um, I wouldn't I wouldn't go for this smaller edition just because uh, it's newer and has a better camera. Do Definitely, you know, I really think you should be thinking about, uh, you know, is what this, what size do you want? If you want, oh, that's really, really steep. I didn't want it like that. Oh no, erase all, don't erase all. Something I hate about this is this eraser, it's terrible. Um, definitely think about what you want to do with your iPad. And if you really want to be getting better at art, I highly recommend using the the larger device because then you can actually move your arm a bit more and, and prevent yourself from getting into this, this bad habit like right now of locking your wrist in one position. Now, you know what? I'm actually getting a bit tired of not having my um, my glove, so I'm gonna put this glove on, which just makes it easier to slip around. It's not because the palm rejection isn't good enough. The palm rejection is decent. I would say that you you could survive an entire drawing without using this glove. But with the glove, you can just glide over, you know, glide around on here, and it's just so much nicer. Something. Oh, this is so much better. I'm so glad I decided to do this. See, it's so once you've got, you know, once you've decided a line that you want, you can really kind of move your whole arm rather than locking it in place. So much nicer. So much nicer. So let's just give her some uh, eyes so that she can actually see us, and then I will. Um, I don't know. I think I might show you a few more drawings or this might be the only one it depends how much um, how much time this takes me to complete but I I love this smaller form factor already it's really really good I'm not feeling like um, I really need the larger one but that's because I'm drawing just a, a face um, I would say, and now I'm also, I'm not drawing in portrait. If I, if I can, I might do a, a portrait shot later, but this is, is feeling like it is plenty of space and I don't really need a larger device. It's not, I, don't, I wouldn't feel desperate. I think if you, if you are, you know, if you can't afford to go for the larger device, don't feel like you're missing out massively. Like, you, oh, it's just not a good drawing experience at all. I would say that even if you just go for the 9.7, you're gonna get an extremely, well, almost identical drawing experience. It really is just how much you need to have that 
larger device for, for you know, move, moving you with your arm. But actually, see, once I've put this glove on, isn't it funny? While I'm making this video, my my opinion is like changing in in real time. But once I've put this glove on, I would say that my opinion has instantly changed. Where I thought that this was not really large enough. The problem really was isn't the size. The problem is that the screen is really grippy, and that's because um, I think they've done it to improve the tra the traction and resistance of this of this pen, and that's that's fine. But, but uh, as, as a result, you probably want to go for uh, uh, you know one of these cheap little cheap little gloves. Give them a few darker outlines. Now, something I love about Apple Pencil is that, and by the way, I do have a Cintiq as well, so I, I know vaguely what the professional drawing tools uh, should feel like, and I use them a lot, but something that's really nice about Apple Pencil is they just tuned it really, really well so that you can be sketching and never have to touch a fader. You never have to like open up like one of these, these menus with these little blocks and like sliding it up and down because uh, it's actually been tuned so well that if you just want a thicker line, you really just have to push a little bit harder. And that way you don't have to do 10 lines on the same thing. I can actually just do you know, one pass. <laughs> I did two passes there because I kind of just missed the line. But that doesn't happen as often as I thought. Also, a few opinions that have changed since I tested the iPad Pro 12.9, you know, in November, is that I, I didn't think that the pen was really accurate enough. Even in January when I made a video in January, I thought, well, you, it's still not 100% accurate. If I were doing manga, I would need to use my Cintiq. But I would say that actually my opinion has changed. And once you get used to it, you stop looking for that hover cursor. Now, I used to talk about that a lot. You stop looking for the hover cursor and you really just look at where is the pencil tip. Because because of the way that they've, they've you know, done this technology, the line actually does appear exactly where you put the pencil, which is unbelievable. Uh, I just, uh, there was, devices just didn't, didn't really do that before. They had what's known as parallax. You would see the pencil in one place and then the actual line would be a little bit in a different place and it's because of the angle you were looking at. In fact, right now I'm not looking directly at the screen. I'm looking kind of at an angle because I'm filming it, but I'm not noticing any, any issues because it just, it just acts, <laughs> just acts like a pencil. So of course you can uh, you can still add shading in a bit like this. I could shade it in like this, but something that's nice, you know, when you're drawing when you're drawing hair is to give it a few a few lines, a few uh, bundles here and there, bundle all the all the uh, lines together, and give it a little more of a sort of hair feel. And uh, let's see, I think I may have overdone this this curve here as well. But I think that is more or less, that is more or less complete. I could keep working on it for, you know, until eternity, basically. But something that I have noticed comparing this tablet with um, maybe my Surface Pro is that I would spend a long time kind of fighting the technology. Now, the, I love the pen on Surface Pro 2 because it was Wacom, but um, after that, just you, you just, if you, when they changed the technology, I found myself fighting, fighting against it. And I didn't really, you know, spend as much time just drawing. Spent a lot of time kind of fighting the stylus and trying to get it to do what I wanted it to do. But there you go. This is a quick sketch for the iPad Pro 9.7 inch. My opinion is it's a fantastic tablet and uh, I don't I don't actually notice myself needing well in fact I don't think I zoomed in a single time uh, at all. So no, I wouldn't say that you need to get the larger tablet if you're just using it for practice and just for little sketches. However, if I were to turn the device, you know, like this, and I were going to try and plan an entire comic, I might prefer to have the larger device. So just do think about the types of drawings that you're doing. And if you're really just casually drawing like this, maybe you're just planning out a sketch because you, uh, you, you want to have like an idea of what you're going to do on your computer later, if you're going to upload it to DeviantArt or Pixiv or any of those, you know, websites. I think this is an absolutely perfect little device. Thank you <laughs> for watching this 
video because uh, I really do appreciate that you guys watch these videos and I really do appreciate that you share them with each other, put them on websites, commenting is really nice, I love that you guys do that. And uh, I just, you know, I just love to draw and I'm gonna keep practicing. I know that, I know that I'm not the best artist in the world, but I'm gonna keep, keep practicing. This was just a quick, very quick demonstration that um, I think size-wise, it's fine. I didn't ever notice that my hand was rolling off the edges or that I didn't have enough places to put my hand. And I highly, highly recommend this. This will cost you at most one or two dollars. It's just a, it's just a, a white glove. As you can see, the palm, de the palm detection, you know, sometimes it does miss because it doesn't, if it doesn't see a whole palm, if it only sees your knuckle, the iPad has no way to know that that's not a finger. It just thinks that, oh well, it was probably a finger and so it's put a mark down. I wish that there were a way to switch that off in notes, um, but you know, if you got, if you need a specialist application, there are plenty of great applications. I also use another app which I will write the name of called Procreate. Um, I, I really rate Procreate because it has an incredible brush engine and layer support and it's just a really, really professional tool that, you know, I think is almost better than a lot of desktop tools. But this app that I'm using right now is just called Notes because it's just the default Apple application that comes with the iPad Pro. And <laughs> to be quite honest, I think that Notes is the best. <laughs> the actual pencil, actual pencil tool for drawing drawing lines this 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 notes application has the most accurate feel and the most accurate look uh, so I'm hoping that Procreate will create some brushes that look a bit like this. Um, I have some brushes uh, that I made which I think are getting close, but really I still think that Notes is the best. Um, I might try out a few other apps. A few people have told me good things about um, Adobe Sketch, so I will be trying that out in the future as well. There's another app if you're into drawing manga. You might want to check out Medibang Paint, which is a useful app because it has plenty of tones and uh, comic, you know, ways to panel out your comic. Long story short, I love this. <laughs> it's it's just it's just perfect. I really don't know what else to say about the fact that this iPad is the perfect size because you can bring it anywhere, and I think it will really encourage you to just sketch, 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 practice, practice, get better and get better. And I can't think of a better way to do that than uh, with the iPad because you uh, you waste less paper, <laughs> which is which is also a good thing. Anyway, save the environment, comment, subscribe, share the links and all that wonderful stuff, and I will see you in the next. Hunger Gamer video. She's got magnets on her feet. First new Nintendo 3DS game. Final Fantasy 15. Ah! Someone pick up the phone. How about you, Cloud? It's shopping time. So I let her go in front of me, and she ran into the shop, and she took the only copy of this. And I thought, no. Here it comes. Oh! It's like the anime, but better. It doesn't say what this is. It just, it just, it's just a piece of plastic. I, I really think, I think, I think maybe it, it is a frisbee. <laughs>